Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be playing with $1 makeup from Shop Miss A. So yes, everything from that website is a dollar each, whether it's foundation, eyeliner, mascara or eyeshadow palettes. And they do have other tools such as curlers and sharpeners, as well as a few nail art stuff. So do check them out, especially if you're new to makeup and you don't want to spend too much on makeup yet. This is really budget friendly and you get to try a wide variety of brands such as e.l.f., LA Colors and Clean Colors which are really popular in the drugstores. So yeah, and the shipping fees aren't too pricey as well. It's about $3.95 for US shipping and $9.95 for international shipping. So I have a few products with me over here and we'll be doing swatches of these as well as a little first impression review and a little $1 full face makeup challenge at the end. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this nudie blushy look with all this makeup, then keep on watching. The first item we have over here is this 2-in-1 foundation stick from Smudge in the shade Medium Beige. So roll it up like a lipstick. It's got a sticky texture so it's a tad hard to apply and it goes on quite sheer so I don't think it provides much coverage. But it has a pink undertone so it goes quite well with my skin tone. Next is a brow pencil from Senti and the pencil was definitely much longer than this but at the same time, this is not a representation of how good or how much I like this pencil. I simply like to use it out of convenience if I'm going out for a short while. This is a dark grey colour and the texture is also rather sticky. Then we have these two eyeliner pencils from LA Colours in black and white, a dollar each. And let's swatch them. So the black one isn't very intense or pigmented, it kind of feels sticky too but it's slightly buildable. And this is the white one which also isn't very pigmented but I had intended to use it as an inner corner highlight. And then this one is Elf's Brightening Eyeliner Pencil that comes with a sharpener as well. It is definitely smoother and more pigmented than the LA Colors one. And I'm not sure which brand this is from but it has a sharpener on the cap and it is another black eyeliner pencil that goes on quite smoothly and intense. The last liner is this LA Colors Auto Eyeliner that has a twist top so you don't have to sharpen it but it will get blunt sooner or later anyway. It's similar in colour and intensity as the e.l.f. one. Moving on to eyeshadows, the first palette is this e.l.f. brightening eye colour in the set Drama. The white shadow is pretty useless since it doesn't pick up or transfer, but the other shades have decent pigmentation for a dollar's worth. These shades have a satin metallic finish to them so they are not extremely glittery and there is no fallout. I've already done a makeup look using this palette in one of my previous videos so you can see how these look on my eyes over there. Next we have Ellie Colors eyeshadow palette in Wine and Roses which consists of pinky purple shades and these also have a satin metallic finish to them and the colour payoff is not bad at all for a dollar. The final eyeshadow palette is LA Colors in Smoky, which consists of blue toned grey shades in a satin metallic finish. So they come with an applicator and the pigmentation for these are decent as well. Back to face products, we have this blush from Smudge in Natural Pink. So there's a mirror and brush inside which you can flip to when you open up the blush. This is surprisingly a really nice pink shade with good pigmentation for a natural everyday look. Then we have this matte bronzer from Clean Color and this is honestly quite a disappointing product because it is so hard to get the product off the pan. You really have to pack it on for any color payoff at all. Up next is Elf's Shimmering Facial Whip in Spotlight, which is a silvery white highlighter. You can use it all over your face or just at areas to highlight. There's a ton of silvery pearls in this one and you can blend it out as desired. I do find it a tad sticky but at least it works in giving major glow. Finally, for lip products, we have this lip scrub from Beauty Treats in Dark Cherry. 
It smells really yummy and a little swipe is all you need to exfoliate your lips since this is full of tiny grains and nutshells. For lipsticks, we have these two clean colour everlasting lipsticks in perfect pink and iced pink. I'll let you know first that these definitely are not everlasting. Let's try out the perfect pink one first that looks like a true pink with silver glitters and it goes on quite sheer like pink icing. Ice Pink is a peachy pink with gold glitters and it is also on the sheer side and both of them have a sweet vanilla scent. And now to put everything on my face. 